welcome to pharmacam insights today topic is interview question and answers on ph meter so let's get started first question what is ph so answer is ph is negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration expressed as ph is equal to minus log h plus next question what is a ph meter a ph meter is a scientific instrument used to measure the acidity or alkalinity of a substance how does a ph meter work a ph meter measures the concentration of hydrogen ions h plus in a solution by using a glass electrode and a reference electrode next question what are ph electrodes made of so answer is ph electrodes typically consist of a glass membrane sensitive to hydrogen ions and a reference electrode containing a stable electrolyte next question what is the ph scale the ph scale is a measurement scale ranging from 0 to 14 indicating the acidity or alkalinity of a solution where 7 is neutral below 7 is acidic and above 7 is alkaline that is basic next question what is calibration in ph meters calibration is a process of adjusting a ph meter to ensure accurate readings by using standard ph solutions next question why is calibration important for ph meters calibration ensures the accuracy and reliability of ph measurements by aligning the instrument with known ph standards what are ph calibration solutions ph calibration solutions are standard solution with known ph values used to calibrate ph meters how many calibration points are typically used for ph meters ph meters are typically calibrated using two or three calibration points often at ph 4.01 ph 7.00 and ph 10.01 for a three point calibration next question why is it important to use fresh calibration solution for each calibration fresh calibration solutions ensure accuracy and reliability in ph meter calibration by minimizing contamination and degradation of the standard solutions next question what is slope and offset in ph meter calibration answer is slope and offset are adjustments made during calibration to align the ph meter's response with the expected values of the calibration standards slope adjusts the linearity while offset adjusts the zero point next question at what temperature range calibration of ph meter shall be done so as per usp united states pharmacopeia temperature should be 25 degree celsius plus minus 2 degree celsius and as per bp and ep british pharmacopeia and european pharmacopeia temperature should be between 20 degree celsius to 25 degree celsius next question what are the five buffer solutions for standardization as per usp 791 the five buffer solutions of different ph used for standardization as per usp 791 are pH 1.68, pH 4.01, pH 7.00, pH 10.01, and pH 12.45. Next question: What should be the acceptance limit for accuracy of pH meter? So answer is: Accuracy slope of pH meter should be between 90% to 105%. Offset of zero should be between plus minus 30 millivolt. the accuracy of temperature measurement should be plus minus 1 degree celsius what should be done if the ph meter fails to calibrate properly 
If the pH meter fails to calibrate properly, troubleshooting steps such as checking electrode condition, cleaning, recalibrating, or using fresh calibration solution should be undertaken. How can you verify the accuracy of pH calibration? The answer is after calibration, pH meters should be tested using additional standard solution to verify accuracy. This can involve comparing the measured pH values with the known values of the standard solutions. Next question How often should pH meters be calibrated? pH meters should be calibrated regularly, typically before each use or according to manufacturer recommendations. Next question, what are the factors affecting pH measurement? Factors affecting pH measurements are, first is temperature, second is electrode condition, third is sample contamination, fourth is calibration drift. Next question, how do you store a pH meter? pH meters should be stored in a clean dry place preferably with the electrode stored in a storage solution to maintain its condition. Which is best solutions to store pH meter electrode? The answer is KCL solution of 3 molar is best recommended for pH electrode storage. Always keep the pH electrode moist. Next question, whether we should stir sample during pH measurement? So answer is yes. There are mainly two advantages of stirring of sample during pH measurement. First is the increased flow of the sample across the electrode results in a faster response time. Second is the solution is properly homogenized so no areas of increase or decrease pH exist. How much time is required to stabilize pH reading? It is difficult to know the exact time to take a pH reading. In general, one minute is required to obtain a stable reading. If a reading is taking an exceptionally long time to stabilize it, indicate several conditions such as first, non-homogenized solution, second, non-aqueous solution, Third, clocked electrode junction. Next question, what is the difference between a pH meter and pH test strips? pH meter provide precise and accurate pH measurements while pH test strips offer a rough estimate of pH levels. Next question, what are some common applications of pH meters? pH meters are used in laboratories, agriculture, water treatment, food and beverage industry. Can pH meters measure the pH of solids? Answer is no. pH meters are designed to measure the pH of liquid solutions. What is the ideal pH range for drinking water? The ideal pH range for drinking water is typically between 6.5 8.5 thank you please like share and subscribe my videos and also show your support in comment section bye